welcome to the website of the Historical Archives of the European Union. To facilitate research using the archival fonts preserved at the Historical Archives of the European Union, we offer users several online research tools, research guides, the inventory, the online database, and the multimedia portal. All of these search tools are accessible from the homepage of our website. Many users start their research with a simple keyword search in the search bar found at the top of the archive's homepage. You can enter a word or words, or even leave it empty, launch the search, and you will be taken to our database, where one finds descriptions of the fonts, the categories of deposits, as well as the archive producers. As you see when you position the cursor on the search bar, you can use Boolean operators AND, OR, NOT, or use quotation marks to search for the exact word or brackets for more complex searches. In advanced searches, it does not matter if you use upper or lowercase letters. There is not yet a thesaurus or automatic translation tool in our database. For the most part, the archival descriptions are in four languages – French, English, Italian, and German. To obtain the most results, we suggest you try one or more keywords in different languages. Let's search the database together. I'm looking for sources concerning the empty chair crisis. I enter chaise vide in French and close in double quotation marks and obtain 38 results. If we search the same expression in English, empty chair, we get a different result for a total of 57 results. Like we said before, it's useful to try other languages. So here we can try a German search. In this case, we get four records as the results. The results of an unfiltered free search are by default sorted in order of relevance and displayed according to the categories of the database that is, by the holdings, oral history, or record creators. One also sees if there are multimedia sources on the topic. You can change the order of the results and set other filters that you see on the right. For example, you can sort by font or by date range or languages. It is also possible to carry out a more specific search using the advanced search function. On this search menu, you may combine keywords with search filters such as language, date range, or by whether or not digital files are available online. You can also define the level of description or the type of archival material. Let's take the Cassis de Dijon case law as an example. Let's do an advanced search, selecting for results in the archives of corporate bodies and the file level, the interviews, and in the private fonts. We launch the search and we obtain 39 results. The home page of the Historical Archives is also the gateway to our multimedia portal. Here you can search for multimedia content and browse online exhibitions curated by the Archives. You can search the multimedia portal by keywords. For example, let's do a search for Jacques Delors. We enter the text, launch the search, and obtain 402 results. The multimedia portal allows you to carry out advanced searches. You can choose specific fonts or collections and filter by language 
or type of audiovisual material, such as audio, video, or image files. Additional filters are found on the left-hand side of the screen. In this section, I will describe some of the information you see with your search results. Let's go back to our search concerning the procedural files of the Cassis de Dijon. Documents which have been digitalized are marked with a small PDF icon or a photo or audio or video icon. To consult these files, you need to be registered in the database. Note that the PDF documents in our database have been processed using optical character recognition software. The consultation of some documents might be subject to access conditions or restrictions. We thus recommend that you consult those conditions which are found in the description of each file. Of course, not all of the archives have been digitized and users may need to consult the files they need in person in our reading room in Florence. Access to the archives is free of charge and open to anyone for academic, journalistic or personal research purposes. To access archival documents it is necessary to register as a user of the historical archives. Registration is necessary if you wish to download files from the database, and you must also register to consult documents or other materials in the reading room in Florence. To register, click on Register and insert your information on the registration form. You must agree to accept the general terms and conditions of use, and tick the I'm not a robot box. Once you have validated the information entered in the registration form, you will receive a confirmation email at the address you indicated. You must then click on the confirmation link contained in that message to finalize your registration. We will treat your data in compliance with the EU GDPR. You can also search within specific archival holdings. This web page provides an overview of the holdings of the historical archives of the European Union. You will find the list of online inventories classified by type of fonts, such as institutional fonts, the archives of private individuals, corporate bodies, or collections. You can also obtain a list of all of the fonts in our deposits, in alphabetical order. Selecting a specific font pulls up a display of the classification structure of the font inventory, as well as descriptive notes. These notes include information such as the number of volumes, files, or linear meters contained in the fonts a brief description of the contents, details about its deposit at the archives, as well as a link to the ESAR record of the archive producer. You may navigate within each inventory from the top folder down to individual documents. You may expand the tree structure of each inventory by clicking on the plus or minus icon at the left of each folder. Click on the folder to open its description. You can also search within specific record creators by selecting it in the menu bar at top. The record creators are the institutions, organizations, or individuals that produce the archival documents. This page displays lists of the record creators and links to further descriptive information. 
You may click on any individual record creator to view the ESAR record associated with it and see a link to archival materials associated with that record creator. Are you interested in the Archives Oral History Collections? These may also be consulted online. The Oral History Collections consist of interviews and testimonies collected through academic work or research projects with people who took part in the process of European integration. By selecting All, you may view an alphabetical list of all of the individuals whose testimonies are archived in the oral history collections. Alternatively, you may consult the interviews according to the research program under which they were collected, such as Leaders Beyond the State. By clicking on the name of an individual person, you obtain a description of the interview. This description includes the date of the interview, the name of the interviewer, and the topics the interview covers. You can also find out in what form or forms the interview is available for consultation, such as audio, video, or via transcript. There is also a reference to the archive producer. In this case, it's Barroso. Here, we'll be referred to the oral history record for José Manuel Barroso, where you can access the interview. We see below that this, this uh, result is a video. Let's click on it. You will be asked to log in. So you should provide your email as well as the password that you selected for your user account at the archives. Once you enter your password, you may view the audiovisual file. In this case, we see it's a video. You will be able to watch the video directly online.